Let's jump to the war here, and today we've got a saving a disaster battle, but this is an interesting scenario here. So we're playing as the Cult of Sotek, we've got Master Mundi, he's got the Sword of Cain. We're going up against Clan Scryer, commanded by Tretch Craventail, and I think Ikaclaw's in there as well, because obviously he's had to have been confederated. And they've got three armies, and they're ambushing us. Now our army's not super susceptible to ambush, but anyway, here's the interesting scenario. The guy that sent this in said he could win this battle. That's not the problem. The problem is that he gets, his army basically gets destroyed in the victory. So what he wants me to do is not just win the battle, but he wants me to win it without basically taking any damage, more or less. So the goal here is to obtain a heroic victory. Now, in order to, to do that, I needed to know exactly what I was going up against. It's not a legendary difficulty. I had a little peek at the battle. I know what the starting positions are of all the armies, and I've come up with a plan. Um, now, you don't normally get this sort of situation, um, you know, on legendary difficulty, where you get to actually know where things are coming from. But if we want to get a heroic victory, that's what we're going to do. Because, yeah, winning this battle isn't necessarily the problem. Now, even upon knowing this, is still going to be difficult, because we're up against three high-tier armies here. So basically, the uh, Treacher's army is stationed on the bottom of the... Well, actually, at the top of this... Hang on, I'll pause it once it comes in over here, and I'll explain the situation. Because it's hard to explain without some visuals. So just immediately pause it. Okay, because it's not a legendary. I think it's on very hard difficulty. Alright, so... They're coming in from over here, attacking us down this way, but they've got forces coming in from over here. Now, those forces there are, are in Force March. Now, the problem is fighting them in the middle of the map is actually disadvantageous to us because Skaven route early and then come back. But that routing early can be really made big use to us if we route them at the edge of the map. So what I want to do, I'm going to take these guys here, and I'm putting them in a control group just because whatever. And I'm going to put them over here and hide. Because, honestly, they're useless. Now, this unit here is the slowest of them. I don't think it can get away. It's just too slow. If we have a look at these other units, they're just way faster. So what might be best is actually sacrificing this unit. To be honest, if, you wanted, if I wanted a heroic victory, I would actually have to disband this unit. Because, honestly, this has no value to us at all in this battle. There's no real large units that we need to worry about. It's just not a good unit for this this situation. Same thing with these guys here. The only reason I'm putting them over there is uh, just to have them stay out of the way because they're, they're useless. Utterly useless. Even the Croxigors, they're not really going to be... I mean, they're not bad units, but I just don't need them for this. Then I'm going to take all of these guys. So the slowest unit of them here is the um, is the Bastilodon. Yeah, I don't like Feral Bastilodons at all. They're just too slow. And we're going to attack them where their reinforcements are coming from. The plan here is to attack them and cause them to break immediately so they just leave the battlefield. These guys will eventually catch up and we'll have to deal with that. But let's, let's go. So this one here will stay behind and just buy us just a small amount of time. This isn't going to do shit, but whatever. Doesn't matter if the Doom Flayers catch up with us over here. But yeah, try to get them over there. I think that'll be good. And, you know what, they're actually shooting a lot of their own troops as well. Great, yep, do that. <laughs> that you know what, that guy actually turned out to be pretty useful. Now, this looks like a ride of Primeval Glory army. Okay, get out of that. Maybe, maybe these guys here don't fire at will. Even though they're still shooting at them at the moment, you know, I want them to... Yeah. Alright, Master Mundi. Oh, oh yes. Yes, please. Come on, slow pokes. Get over there. Alright, they're ignoring them now. How'd that go? 500 kills? Nice. And because we're so close to the edge of the map, breaking these guys, just get them off the battlefield, great. Now, any rattling guns that come out over here, we need to make sure they get off the battlefield immediately. Since these 
Okay, that army's not coming in a force march, but this one here I think is. So we don't need to kill them, just need to get them off the battlefield. So yeah, these this, these guys here just uh, just don't don't contribute to my number of casualties. And even then, I'm, we've still got a pretty low chance of getting a um. Is that the kit? Yeah, low chance of getting a heroic victory, I think. All right, now he's got healing abilities. Let's use that. Good. Rattling guns are coming in from here. Let's get rid of them. God damn, these Bastillodons suck. Fine by me. Pals of power's not in our favor. We've already annihilated a lot of troops. I don't think we should worry too much about actually taking out Ikaclaw. But it's very important that our dinosaurs fight together. Mazdamundi's pretty bloody... Actually, you know what? You can keep him behind, and he'll pop down this. But yes, definitely want to prioritize the rattling guns. Just get them off the battlefield. Alright, here we go. I think we're going to get him over a thousand kills. Oh, can we go this way, this way? Good, that's it. Target Master Mundi with, with your Poison Wind Mortars. Good shit. We don't need to target their Poison Wind Mortars. They are not dangerous to, to us at all. So far, it's going really nicely. Yeah, sometimes you've got units in your army, like this, that they're actually detrimental to, to your, your battle. It is... That's why you got to work out on a team. You know, guys that complement your strategy, not actually cause problems. These ones actually cause problems. That's why I just... Get, just get out of the way, you know? Get out of the way. Put them on the bench. Poison wind. Yeah, that's fine. Just leave them there. Okay. It's, it's kind of okay if he's getting shot by the rattling guns. Because he does have the Sword of Cain, so... It's not going to be... Hmm. That is actually really hurting. Oh, look at this. That's where I need to be putting that last banishment down. Just... Well, they'll be shooting a lot of their own troops as well. I've got this, but I want to save it for later. Actually, now I'll be a good time. See, the, the poison wind mortars aren't doing anything. Keep these guys back just for now. Master Mundi's fine there. Mm, I really need to get rid of these, these guys here. Okay. Um... Alright, make a rush at the rattling guns. Mazda Mundi might be used up of his healing soon. Ooh, get in a bit closer, this is gonna absolutely wreck him. Come on, get in close. Okay, that's in range. Pop that down. And let's do this as well. And let's do this as well. Oh, yes. Very nice. Take that, you fucking rats. Oh, 
why this didn't get cast. <laughs> God damn it, we barely took any damage. If it wasn't for the fucking uh, Sora Spearman. Look at that. There, they're gone already. Oh, the plan went off without a, without a hitch. Very nice. Thing is, okay, now we get a chance to heal. But, are we going to get a heroic victory? That's the big question here, because we were certainly outpowered in this battle. There was no doubt about that. I mean, at this, once all their reinforcements are in, they were stronger than us. But we barely took any damage, and surely those Regiment of Renown were worth that much. Yeah, trying to run them down. Oh, hang on. We've got these guys over here. How many kills did he get? Damn. <laughs> so that was all part of the plan, by the way, guys. Just I was pre I predicted that they were gonna run over here. I predicted it. I didn't predict it. Is he? he oh, he's healing naturally. Okay, I don't need to be apotheosing him. Of course, I forgot he's got natural regeneration. Yes! That's what I wanted to see. That was the goal. I achieved my goal. <laughs> I'm really happy with that outcome there. Sometimes you just gotta do what the game doesn't expect you to do. You know, going for their reinforcements first and not for the main force. That was the way to go about this. That guy there was definitely a concern towards our... Towards our, uh... Our situation because he was just too slow he doesn't suit the army he just don't even have him in there he's just he's just used well i mean that guy in that particular situation was lucky because the enemy poison wind mortars actually shot their own troops all you need to make this army work is more dinosaurs even more bastilodons even though they're a bit slow uh regular stegodons definitely the way to go with this i mean he did say this was this was this way due to confederation so it's not a problem but anyway his army's not wrecked and you know that doesn't really matter. So here you go. Have some more sacrificial offerings. Oh, you're in home territory. How did they have warp bomb? Maybe it's because of the under empire. So you had already retreated it at one point. Why did it give us the option to withdraw our troops? Well, it doesn't matter. Anyway, that's, that's the end of this one, guys. I did what I wanted to do. It looks like the campaign's fine. Um, hope you enjoyed the battle. Hope you learned something. And if you haven't already, chuck us a sub. And I'll see you next time, fuckers.